What's going on, Yu-Gi-Oh! community? Elmo Gonzalez here with G Sports and Entertainment. I'm here with Dylan Callahan uh, at the Jackson Regional. We've got 200 players today, eight rounds. Uh, my man Dylan here finished X and one with what? Mystic Mind Burn, and I could be second, third, or fourth, depending on my tiebreaker, so fingers crossed. Yeah, he uh, was at the last table, uh, ended up losing uh, his first loss of the day, uh, finishing X and one. Uh, Dylan has been uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh! player for a while. He took a six-year hiatus, uh, came back this past Acto October. This is his second ever regional, and he's got his first top. Congrats, Dylan. Thank you. Uh, ready to go in deck profile? Yeah, yeah, let's get into it. All right. Okay, so first, on main board, just two Lava Golems. Uh, reason being is nobody expects this card, and in case they make you go second, the I was. this is really for the spiral board and any dino cheese they try to set up on you, like a, like a two monster with laggy or something, if they know what you're playing. Because nobody wants this deck to go first, especially with the upcoming cards I'm about to show you. Uh, I I did I wanted to do three, but I went into every game expecting, telling myself I'm going first so I can get the setup going. So that's why I only did two. And there's no third side deck one. And when people will see that you have Lava Golem, they kind of know. Just keep one monster on the board. So it's usually you side these out after game one. Next up... Uh, is the main engine. Uh, there's actually three, mis there are three Mystic Mines, uh, the heart and soul of the deck next to one other card that, this isn't even my favorite card in the deck. My favorite card, oh my god, it's so great. But this Mystic Mine, if your opponent controls more monsters than you, no monster effects, they can't activate, but continuous effects do trigger. Uh, they can't attack you, so they just have to sit here and wait until they get an out to it, which most people don't have an out to this game one, they have to go into their side deck for. Next, Demise of the Land. This card is amazing. It cannot be ashed, and that's one of the most common hand traps. It can't, you can't, they can't draw after this because it doesn't go into hand. It puts it on the board, and this card was amazing today. So many people, because uh, some guy side decked wiretapped against me, and he thought this. He flipped it immediately because he thought this was metaverse, and <laughs> he looked silly. Next is your win condition. This is my only win condition. Three cauldron of the old man's. Every standby phase, it gets a counter. When you activate, it gets a counter, and you choose one of two effects. Gain 500 or burn for every burn 300 for every counter. Uh, most people ask me why I didn't play Wave Motion Cannon. Wave Motion Cannon clogs space, and if you don't send it off and they twister it or they lightning storm you or cyclone it, it just sat there and did nothing clogging space. I thought about it, but I figured I was okay with this, and I mean, I'm X and 1, so hey, it must have worked. Next is Left Arm Offering. Uh, I'm cutting this down to two afterwards. Uh, I just don't like the fact that maybe it's just bad luck, but like four of my matches, I opened uh, open two of these, and it's just aggravating. Like there was another match where it was just dead in my hand because I had counter traps. I didn't want to banish. I wanted to resolve the ones on my field, and so it just kind of sat there. Usually, you want every card to have a purpose. I mean, this card does have a purpose, but the fact that you can't set is a huge restriction because you want to try and combo with cards like Call the Grave or something later, but yeah, I'm cutting this down to two. About seven matches out of the eight, I opened Field Barrier and Mystic Mind, so uh, the final player gets the Spiral. I opened this and passed. He searched with something, and he saw he had no out. He just scooped. Field Barrier is the most important card. Another thing to remember that a lot of people forgot, everybody forgot this. When field bearers on the board, you cannot activate another field spell. So they can't hidden city you, they can't spiral sort, they can't do anything. Once this is locked, uh, once this is on the field, it's locked. But unfortunately, it does go for you too. So if this is on the board with Mystic Mind, do everything you can to stop Cosmic Cyclone. Because if they if Cyclone goes off on your mind, you're done. Unless you have some random way to out your own field barrier. My favorite card in the deck. Everybody hates it. God of Skulls Oracle. Uh... The first effect does not matter. The second effect is you you look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and you put them back in any order. It's Spiral Jones, except I could do it every turn. Uh, if you do that, though, you can lock yourself into Fairy Summons, so you can't Lava Golem if you uh, do this for the rest of the turn. So as, as long as you resolve it in the right order, everything's going to work out just fine. This card is what makes the deck. I would choose this card over the burn just every turn because as long as I can control what my opponent has, if I see my opponent has nothing, they're not responding, they're just drawing and passing. I know they have nothing. So I, as long as I control what they draw, then, then, they're gonna, then I'm gonna get the burn card eventually and then they're just gonna scoop it up. I'm gonna have stuff to counter, evenly matches, lightning storms, cyclones, twisters, all that. Best card in the deck. I've seen profiles run this at two, you run this at three. You need this immediately. 
Dually, I mean, there's not much to say here. Well, this came out in like 2010, reprinted a million times. Look at top three, gets you a key card. You can't special summon. So it does conflict with Lava Golem. And this is, the wording on it is different. With Goddess, it says for the rest of the turn, you can only summon this, you can't. So you have to choose either Golem or this. But that's why I only run two, so it doesn't conflict too much. Only two prohibitions. Uh, my friend asked me why only two. Because... Uh, Everybody's uh, everybody I've seen is nobody's main decking Cyclone or even or uh, Twister. Everybody's main decking evenly and whatever archetype threat that hits my back row. Uh, this is what it's there for. And the unfortunate part is, if they don't draw it or it just doesn't matter, it just takes up a space on the field. But the best my best thing to do is when you have prohibition, you call something and when you see it on top of the deck, you disrespect your opponent and you make it their next draw. Uh, I had a guy get so mad because I kept making him draw twin twisters that he couldn't play because I called Twister. Call by the grave. I decided to run this because I was in a hurry, but this actually came in clutch twice. Uh, I had two people, and both times it hit Droll. And um, I just thought it helped because there are certain times where you search multiple times, like with terraforming or after you extravagance and duality. Uh, it's not too bad if you get hand trapped because uh, as long as you have protection, you're fine. But uh, this actually came in a lot more handy than I thought. I might take out that third left arm offering for this. But uh, I never know. There's stuff I have to do still to test out and think about and wait for other cards. Two extravagance. This would be three, but I this shot up in price. I was going to get a third one, but it shot way up and it's a little out of my budget right now. I didn't see this as much as I'd like to, but I saw it plenty enough. Uh, your extra deck doesn't matter uh, to a point. There's uh, to a point. So playing this, it's just it's just pot of greed. You just got to be careful. Don't set anything, or remember that you can't draw for the rest of the turn. The one terraforming, uh, self-explanatory. Get your mind. Card demise. It went to.